One of Scotland's most scenic places, Castle Urquhart on the shores of Loch Ness, was held by Clan Grant for 400 years. It was blown up to prevent the Jacobites from using it, but the main structure is still known as the Grant Tower. During the Jacobite rebellions, the exiled Stuart monarchy tried to regain the British throne with the help of some Highland clans. The deposed king's son, Charles Edward Stuart, Bonnie Prince Charlie, raised an army of over 2,000 men drawn from more than 30 clans. But the Jacobite risings pitted Grant clansmen against each other. The Grants supported the Hanoverians, but the Grants of Glen Morriston fought with the Jacobites. In 1725, men from Clan Grant were one of the six companies to form the 42nd Highlanders, now known as the Black Watch. The Grants of Glen Morriston fought with the Jacobites at Preston Pans in 1745 and a year later at Culloden, where the battle lasted less than an hour and the Jacobite forces were decimated. The brutality of the reprisals earned the royal commander, the Duke of Cumberland, the nickname Butcher. The killing was indiscriminate and went on for days. Families were forced to leave their burning homes and left to starve. Jails were emptied and filled with Jacobites. 84 grants of Glen Morriston who survived the battle were sent to the prison ships at Tilbury and in March 1747 were transported to Barbados in violation of their terms of surrender and sold as slaves. Miraculously, one clansman, Alexander Grant, a 48-year-old boatman, escaped from Barbados, returned home and was reportedly living in Glen Morriston in 1748. And later, during the evictions known as the Highland Clearances, when families were forced to leave their traditional glens and small-scale agriculture was replaced by sheep rearing, the Grants were one of the few clans to be unaffected. The 23rd clan chief, known as Good Sir James, built the town of Granton on Spey to rehouse the clansmen who were now tenants, displaced by agricultural reform, and to save them from forced emigration. 